morning. It's meant to be beautiful weather and not too much wind. So we've come back to the Golden Lookout. Uh, but this time we've come down onto the beach. So if you turn left, there's beach access and a car park and a walk straight down onto this amazing, beautiful blue beach. We've seen a pot of dolphins. We've seen um, amazing white sand. And we've just had a great morning. There's even like a weird bird on the beach right now. I don't know what it is. All right, today we're gonna to head out to Ganya Beach, I think it's called, and a bit of dune driving, and um, yeah, we'll see what we can see out there. Should be pretty exciting, should be pretty fun. Well, uh, we've got the tires down already, so yeah, let's go and do it. It's not about power with this truck, it's about uh, technical capability and like just locking everything in and taking it nice and slow and yeah, <laughs> heaps of fun. Let's go. just met some people walking from the beach and Lynn. they've uh, Lynn and Richard. Richard and they um, were pleading oh we found someone we're stuck at the end of the beach so we are on our way in to see if we can help them don't mind the beeping of the of the uh, <laughs> lockers in um, we just it was very a bit soft it's only the front locker it's only the front locker of the beach there we go um, it was very soft so we had to lock everything in and we've made it over Um, so it's very soft very, on this beach. Soft. Holy yeah, dooly. Very soft down near the water. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Still on top. And it's super soft. Bring your tires this way.
So we've walked down with our Max tracks. We've left the truck a little bit further down just in case you can get out with the Max tracks and not put ourselves in this situation. Um, and we actually have run into people that follow us and have some of Daniel's photos all the way back from Newcastle. What's the chances? Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's see if we can help him out. Here at Daniel Courtney Photography, we go the extra mile for our customers. <laughs> there, we're down in Coffin Bay National Park, and we just our spider senses were tingling, and we thought maybe some of our customers are in trouble. So we drove down the beach, and uh, they were bogged in the sand. So yeah, so lucky we yeah lucky we came, and uh, Daniel Courtney Photography got the extra mile. Here you can see the Aussie Boomer has left their comfort zone and gone out in the wild to fend for themselves. <laughs> you can see the results. <laughs> All right, we've got a successful rescue on the beach. Max tracks and a winch required. Get it out. Yeah, we're still going to drive out, but I'm pretty confident that everyone will get out safely. We're bike riding on a narrow path. Yeah, so we're doing a bit of a bike ride around Coffin Bay uh, this afternoon. It's beautiful weather. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, not too hot. And um, it's a good, um, safe spot for Aria to practice riding her bike. So uh, she's not on the mountain bike with me, with me, which is actually a nice change. <laughs> um, and Dad is coming on behind us on his um, unicycle. So we'll show you a few sights of the path around Cop and pay. Perfect cameraman vehicle, the unicycle. We've started working our way up the west coast of the Air Peninsula. This is our first stop. This is Coles Point. Um, this is us for a couple of nights. It's got the goods. Check out the water. I hope the GoPro is showing the colours. We'll chuck the drone up and we'll show you around. Galaxy 
Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be with me Just be with me Just be with me Now we're one with the sun over our heads And at night we'll be the stars We can go any place that we want to I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away has to be said, Amanda. Yeah, Peninsula. Like, we keep finding these spots, hey? Yeah. Like, look at this. Amazing. We're having dinner yeah. outside. Roast, no no roast mozzies. Lamb. Roast lamb dinner outside. No mozzies. With this amazing view. No one else here. No one. Look at that. What I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? Can't get much better. I mean, this is what we love, like million dollar views for free. Oh, it's free. I forgot to mention that. It's completely free, this campsite. Completely free. You can see these colors behind me. Pretty epic. Not showing up in the phone that well, but um, we've got this blue water below. We've got green down here. And then the sky is going orange, hopefully. Hopefully the sky finishes going orange. This is what we travel for, this is what we love. The sun is trying to come out for yeah. sunset this afternoon. <laughs> Daniel's got his capture going, seeing what we come up with. Obviously we'll pop it in here if uh, it turns out. so incredible we're free camping at Coles Point here and it's just like woke up to a pot of dolphins out in front of us like it's just they've been yeah it's like about 40 minutes they've been eating and playing and jumping around and it's, what a way to wake up what a sight we could be on for a good sunset tonight so we've finished up dinner yummy gnocchi and uh, heading down to the beach sun has just started to peak underneath some clouds so this is when it usually starts to light up I'm rushing down new drone Mavic 3 for my first flight hopefully if I get down in time and get organized <laughs> um, it's 
always a bit of a rush sometimes when dinner's a bit late. <laughs> um, yeah, Daniel's down already set up and capturing um, while I get all the bits and bobs ready. Sometimes nature just turns it on and you're in the right place at the right time. And that's tonight. So looking forward. So we got some blue water, some beautiful blue water here, crashing. We got the sunset starting to happen. So fingers crossed we get something amazing. Fall over again to the camera. <laughs> we just found the Greenlee uh, Beach Rockfalls. A bit of a car park, car park at the top, and a bit of a dodgy track down. But man, they are beautiful. Look at the colour of the water. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, we did just go for a quick swim in there. Saw so many starfish unreal and it's so protected from the waves at the right tide. Pop this one on the list, not far to go, probably only 10 minute drive. That was unexpected and a bit sketchy. <laughs> it was a very steep. I'm glad we weren't trying to go up that because we wouldn't have made, made it without a winch. <laughs> that was rather, very steep. Rather soft sand. Yeah, very soft sand and very steep. And we haven't put tires down or anything. Like that, no. we, weren't, we were just driving on gravel. <laughs> we're at 60 psi. <laughs> so we're just driving on we we're just driving on gravel and then turned to soft sand and now we're trying to work our way back to the road. <laughs> I think we found. 
around it. I think so too. So we just had the most intense storm for like two hours. Uh, crazy wind, crazy rain, crazy lightning and thunder. Like there was, it, there was one point that we thought it hit, was going to hit the van. We were like, holy dooly, and jumped out of our skin. Um, craziness, craziness. Um, but then it's trying to do a sunset. Like we did not expect that at all. Um, but yeah, it's blowing a gale. It's the first time we've had the wind here that the bay is really that the bay is really choppy. Um, it's been absolutely perfectly calm the whole time that we've been here. Sorry, I'm standing on a rock, um, so I don't get dirty feet. Um, and like of all things there's purple pink happening in the sky it's crazy i'll flip you around and so try and show you above the truck uh because the sun the storm's moving that way so i'll flip you around crazy absolutely crazy anyway I'm going to enjoy the sunset for a little longer. Wow, I just don't comprehend it. It's crazy sky tonight. Well, the clouds were like in the grey clouds when it was funny. That would just be it. Epic sunset. Holy dooly, look at that. I don't know if the GoPro is capturing that. All that orange colour that you can see in the GoPro there is actually bright pink clouds all the way at the top. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you look to the water and it's like beautiful blue and like blue sky. <laughs> and then there's lightning going on behind you over there, Daniel. There's a massive yeah. flash of lightning. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> It's like weird, it's so weird. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to do a hyperlapse to see if I can capture any lightning. Um, hopefully the wind doesn't blow over the, the GoPro. Uh, see what happens, hey? That's us down here at Coles Point. Beautiful free camp. Um, I did want to let you know that a local did tell us that the council is planning to make this one um, a designated camp area with bays, um, pre, like booking $5 a night type scenario um, in the f near future. Um, that hasn't happened yet. Um, it's still currently just a free camp. Rock up if there's a spot. Um, don't take up the whole lot because there is day use parking area as well at the same spot. So um, for us that was fine, but if you you know in the future are going to use this you may want to just double check that you don't have to pre-book this one um we'll try and keep that up to date um on camps um when the council start enforcing that um but yeah it's absolutely beautiful and you should really do it dirt road in it was fine for us but again dirt roads change all the time so um keep that in mind uh, we didn't even lower pressures or anything like that so um it was perfectly fine and it's absolutely beautiful in case you haven't realized yet <laughs> don't know where we're off to from here but we'll show you when we get there. Also, I'll just quickly add, there is another beach, just uh, another camp, just at the other end of the beach called Greenley Beach Camp. Um, it's also a council run $5 a night um, one. It's at the other end of the beach and there's huge, like a huge area to choose from. Um, bookings online and I think it's like 20, 25 sites or something meant to fit. So um, yeah, if you can't get in here or they haven't sorted it out here and you want to go and book one, there's, a, there's another option as well. <laughs> 